Lord Nasha, forgive us. She said it could not wait. It is a matter of some urgency, and there is little time. My lord, I come to you with- You will bow to Lord Nasher. Of course. I meant no disrespect, my lord. What brings you here, Torio? If there is some new dispute with Luskan, speak with the Trade Guild first, then- Oh no, my lord. This matter concerns Neverwinter. There is a murderer loose in your city. Murderer? And whom has this murderer killed? An entire village lies dead, my lord. Naval, have our scouts reported anything about- The village was slaughtered, and now the murderer hides here within your walls. You must initiate a search at once. Only one of us wears a crown. Yet you dare to give me orders within my halls? I will do nothing until I confirm this village's destruction. Then, if I see fit, I will act. Do not test me on this. Whatever pleases you, my lord. But I would act quickly, lest the murderer slip through your fingers. If that were to happen, I have no doubt there would be serious repercussions. I do not need to remind you of the extradition treaty. By every god and his mother, what a fool I was to ever sign anything bearing Luskan's seal. I can have Torio detained, Lord Nasher. No. She would not be so bold if there were not something to her claims. Dispatch scouts, Naval, and order the Watch to search the city. I think it would be in our interest to find the killer before Luskan does. If I may, my lord, I have someone well suited to aid in our search. An agent of ours, Sand. I think that he can help us find our true murderer. No matter how deep Luskan tries to hide him. Sand? I recall that one. I thought he was our eyes, but not by choice. In this matter, my lord, we may trust him implicitly. He takes a certain... pleasure in bringing Luskin truths to light. Very well. See to it, Naval, and make haste. There you are. He is Sir Naval, a member of the Nine, Lord Nasher's bodyguards. I am here because Luskin has accused you of murder. An entire village, no less. Have you heard of Ember? I've scraped things from my boot that I respect more than Luskin. But unless we find some means of clearing you of these charges, we will have to surrender you to them. We've signed a treaty with Luskin. They have the right to dispense low justice for any crimes committed on their soil. But I'm not turning over a loyal member of the Watch to some Luskin dog on this day or any other. Your guilt is preordained in a Luskin court. If you were a lord, knight, or even a squire, however, then matters would be different. You would be subject to high justice, and your trial would take place here in Neverwinter before Lord Nasher. I need you to go see Sir Grayson, one of Lord Nasher's most trusted knights, and become his squire. I may also send a friend of mine to assist you. He has proven invaluable in such cases in the past. Mind you, the matter must still go to trial, and if you cannot prove your innocence, then you will face execution. For now, let us deal with what we can. See Sir Grayson at once at Captain Berlena's office. Pledging yourself to Neverwinter's service will give us time to counter these Luskin lies. And until you answer for these charges, the gates of the city will be barred to you. Seek out Grayson, but do not leave the city. No way in the hells will I let those Luskins get their hands on you! But there's still something we can do, right? Even Naval said as much. All you have to do is pledge yourself to one of the knights, and Luskin can't touch you. And we're innocent, besides. I mean, the slaughter of an entire village? That's going too far, even by Luskin standards. Is it? If you have something Luskin wants, they'd kill an entire city for it. They don't care. They attacked Neverwinter once, and even now they're sending fleets to attack Ruithim. Give them an excuse, and you'll soon find Luskin blades at your gate. Uh, Duncan. Looks like we have a guest. Oh, as if the day couldn't get any worse. What do you want, Sand? 
I am here to help you. And your kin, actually. Oh, really? And what's the price? If it's more than a half copper, you can see yourself out. No, I seem to have been given an ultimatum, in fact. I have heard of your troubles with Luskin. Word travels fast. Know that if you are sent to Luskin, you will be killed. I realize you may find my sincerity difficult to believe, but allow me to act on your behalf. There are laws, and there is right and wrong. I know you uphold the law, and I do not believe you are guilty of this. And if they should get a hold of you, you will be killed. I believe people should answer for their crimes, but it must be just. Well, at best, they will put you on trial, or what seems to be one, then execute you. At worst, they will dispense with the courtroom mockery and execute you as soon as you step within the gate. And when I say execute, do not think it will be one clean chop of a headman's axe. Luskins have all sorts of inventive ways for executing prisoners that is best not to describe on a full stomach. I think we should give him the chance. This is not a battle that can be won by swords. And I, for one, am ill-equipped for such a fight. Sure. After all, a hedge wizard can't make things any worse. Maybe all that digging through books might prove useful. If we need to burn down Luskin, then perhaps we shall seek you, Quara, but your ignorance will cause more damage here than you know. Luskin is not ruled by men. It is ruled by magic, by the masters of the towers. And if they have decided that you are to be delivered to them, then... So, let them try. Whatever spark of magic you think you have, you idiot girl, they will bleed from you by demon, spell, and curse until even your father won't be able to save you. And I suspect that what they seek may have consequence beyond you, beyond me, for much of the realms. Fortunately, Becoming a squire is enough for our needs, and I believe you have already been told about someone who can help you, Sir Grayson, yes? Let me join with you. I have considerable experience with these matters, and foiling Luskin plots is something I relish. <laughs>